Welcome back to Vintage Wine and Port. Today we have a very legendary port from Taylor's. It's a 1955. Taylor's is one of the most well-known port houses in the world and 1955 is a very special year. We're going to go to Dear and Tony now to see what they think. Well, thank you, Andrew. It's a real pleasure to be here. Um, as you say, today we're tasting the 1955 Taylor's, uh, which in my view is one of the port legends. It's a legendary port. 55 was one of the top vintages of the 20th century, uh, alongside 1927, 1935, 1963. Um, so it should be a really good port. Taylor's itself is an absolutely fantastic port house. This particular bottle that we're tasting today came from a Cambridge uh, cellar, one of the uh, Cambridge uh, University cellars. Um, it's been stored impeccably uh, since it was first procured. Uh, and we're very lucky to be able to open it and taste it today. Um, we opened this one about two hours ago, let it decant. Realistically, it needs about another two hours in the decanter to fully blossom and mature. Um, I had a little trouble getting the cork out. Sometimes we push them through, but the cork broke. Uh, the, port, the cork says uh, Taylor's 1955 on the vintage. Always, uh, always check the cork, make sure it is what it is in the, in, in the bottle. So, without further ado, we really, really must try this marvellous port. First of all, I want to say about the colour of this port. So actually, Tony served this to me before we try it, blindly, and he said, can you guess what it is? And I completely got it wrong. <laughs> so in fact, I thought it was a Kalita, but a young Kalita, because it's still, it's got that colour of the ageing, it's got that garnet colour, it's light, but at the same time it has this highlight, that ruby highlight. So I was very confused. The really highlights, of course, Tony showed that it's youthful still, although it is, in fact, from 1955. Um, and in terms of aromas, cherries and a lot of spice. I'm getting a lovely hit of menthol, yeah. possibly a little bit of eucalyptus, yeah. uh, oodles of vanilla, Yeah. so some great vanilla, um, a little bit of toffee on there. Uh, and I'm picking up the spice that, that you have as well. Definitely the spice, cinnamon, um, I get there, and also some tarragon, um, you know, the dried yeah. herbs. I get the menthol that Tony's getting as well, yeah, absolutely. And uh, where you, I get a little bit of burnt caramel and a little bit of walnut, you okay. know, one okay. of these, like a little bit of the. I'll give you that one, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and some dusty soil, which is really nice. These are like the complex aromas that a vintage port develops as it goes through in the later years of its life. Mm. So it will not have like the freshness of fruit, but it will develop this complexity, these interesting aromas, like the wet soil when it rains, that you don't get to see in very fresh young wines. So let's try it then. Mm -hmm. Definitely not gonna spit this one. Um, this is delicious. It, it's absolutely full bodied. Um, it's still at its peak, I would say. 1955, drinking beautifully now, absolutely at its peak. What, what a glorious wine this is. Um, I'm finding it very balanced. I'm getting the vanilla coming through, a little bit of the menthol. Uh, it's quite complex. I, I'd say it's quite complex. Thanks. Lots going on there. Um, and the finish is quite long. Originally when we uh, opened this and just tried this out of the glass, it, it was just a little bit spirity, but now after two hours I feel it's going on and I think I'll give it another couple of hours, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you. Another couple of hours, will, uh, the aromas, as, a, as the oxygen comes in contact with the wine, um, more aromas will jump out of the glass um, and it will be fantastic to see. As you said, it's smooth. It's, it's quite smooth and soft, you know. The finish is very long. It has balancing and acidity. It's just beautifully, beautifully balanced vintage port. Uh, fantastic to drink now. And do you think it will hold a bit longer? Uh, probably for a few decades more, actually. Few so. Decades more. So, fantastic. <laughs> it, it, it's a glorious place. Glorious port. Yeah. Absolutely love it. We're going to have to give it a score, aren't we? Yes. What would you give it? Uh, only because I tried another port recently and I completely loved it. I will give this one 95 points. Yeah, okay. I've got 95 on my little pa pa piece of paper. So, well, uh, we're on the same page. Well, absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful port. Really recommend this. It's what I would say is one of my port legends. So uh, maybe Andrew can put a photograph on the website afterwards. Um, 
please do. Uh, absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Andrew.